he's going to look to substitute for other things until he can realize that this is the best actual best place to be. I'm not going to allow him to step into my bubble. I'm just going to kind of give him a little upwards pressure, very light finger touch um, on the part of his neck that has carries the most tension, so he becomes aware of that. I'll release when he does something to change that. He's back in my bubble over here. I'll just correct that again. It's a light upward kind of fingertips into the muscle that he's carrying tension in. Do you notice that you're carrying tension here and you could feel a little bit better? Is there something that you want to do to make yourself feel a little bit better? Would you like to release that? Is that something you can do on your own? Yes, it is. So he's going to just search. He's going to search. Again, I'm not going to close my hand back against his nose. I want to open it, invite him to lengthen there. Now I'll release him there. I want him to find his posture all the time, everywhere, in every situation. Go back to, I'm going to ignore that. Gonna, he's just searching for the right answer. He's having a hard time mentally just staying in one place, not being asked to do anything, but just relax. I'm not going to, that's a loss of balance, him falling forward. He doesn't understand clear, consistent boundaries totally yet. Um, I want him to find this posture all the time. So it becomes like a super highway of, uh, from the brainstem to the neocortex of like, this is how I self soothe I can find a posture of relaxation in every circumstance all by myself. I want to empower him to become the master of his own nervous system. So I'm going to, in all kinds of modalities, help him find that posture. Now, it looks, it's like super challenging for the first day. He's, he's having a hard time staying there. It's, it's really not too bad at all. He's, he feels very busy now. This is not something he actually did before chewing on the rope. He's looking to release his hyoid most likely, um, which is fine. And so, focusing on one thing that's super hard for him for a day, for a long period of time. Now we'll go for a walk. find that better posture in everything that we do. So whether it's obstacles or riding or groundwork or being in the barn. In the barn, on the cross ties, I can put the beamer on him. I can do, I have some really great therapy products. I have a gua sha tool called the Halo I'll use. In the group stall, I'll just touch him up a little bit and help him find that posture on the, um, just on his, like on the cross ties, just hanging out. We can find this posture everywhere. Find it, find it, find it in everything that we do. We always start and return to it. If we lose it, we go back to it. Over time, we can pick it up a little bit. Um, but I want him to find that calm default stationing, the positive reinforcement um, terminology for it. I want him to just be able to find that peace in neutral where he can open up his throat latch Release the brachiocephalagus and just rest and not have a busy mind and um, tension in his body. I want him to really just, it's like a form of meditation, which when you start is really, really hard, right? But I want him to be able to recall this all the time. And the only way to do it is practice it in every modality you possibly can, in every situation you possibly can. So my biggest, my biggest goal for this horse that I just got last week, um, he's been in foster care, he's been living outside, kind of, or living with a, 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 a herd, and so he got a little bit picked on, and you know, he's young and growing, so he needs a little bit of uh, postural work and physical rehab to build up some muscle and stuff like that. And um, my main goal is for him to be able to find
find a posture of relaxation, which is going to become self-rewarding uh, because it will feel good to be there. They will want to keep going there. So anytime that I, we're in a situation where he might become alarmed, so we're in the sympathetic arousal response, and what I might do there is just remind him of the power that he has within him to regulate his own nervous system. So I might use endo tapping and tap on his withers a little bit until he goes into a response that I'm going to help him kind of become programmed into finding. Um, I can find my pillar one in um, balance through movement method, or I can find, which is very, very similar to the uh, position one in classical one handwork, um, or you would call it calm default stationing in positive reinforcement. I can use a target as a guide in order to help reward that posture as well. So the more times that I can find that posture and stay there, have him stay there for longer periods of time, that pathway will get wider and wider and wider to finding that and it will become a very easy recall and he will be able to find that posture all the time in everything, in any situation. Um, and that is what uh, Dr. Rachel Blaney was talking about on her last webinar with uh, Wendy Murdoch, and you can find it on um, the Wendy's Winnie's playlist. Um, she was saying how you want to be able to facilitate the horse finding the parasympathetic nervous system and that posture of relaxation over and over and over again so that the path to get there becomes it's not a trail, right? it starts as a trail, but it becomes a highway. So the more we practice this, it becomes, boom, I can find that. I can find that peace. And I can start releasing endorphins in that posture. And I can manage my uh, nervous system in challenging environments it's with various sensory. I can find that through everything. I can exist there. I can do all things through that. And, I would, and then you'll have, what comes with that is the fullness of life and brilliance and relaxation and athletic um, access without the posture of uh, survival, which is uh, braced under neck, head up, hollow back, um, you know, and then just being in survival, and sympathetic response. So. That is what we will keep chasing. We have quite a silly uh, participant here. Um, I don't judge any behaviors. I just kind of stick them in the back of, the, of my mind. Um, and they usually go away when the horse really kind of masters their ability to self-soothe. Like that's been his way probably to relax himself. He's just playing with his tongue a little bit. But once he learns this posture, He's gonna be, he's gonna be looking for that. I guarantee it. So that's the best place to be. So help him find it this way. Target my hand. Good. By doing hand target, I will food reward. He does not understand the rules with positive reinforcement yet, and even how to find his rewards. So that is something we're working on. And so kind of just started that today. So big work in progress, but that's what I'm looking for. Superman.